Hey, for four years, the mother of missing Kelsey Schelling has hoped that day would be the one she found out what happened to her daughter. When investigators dug up a yard in Pueblo last week, again, she thought that would be the day, and again, it was not. Liz Gilardi sat down with her for the first time since this latest search. So many ups and downs for this family. A couple days earlier, Kelsey's mom received a call from investigators telling her they planned to do a search in Pueblo and she should be there. We went into it with really high hopes. Hoping most of all to find her pregnant daughter. We were hoping we'd get to bring Kelsey home. So it's been really hard in the aftermath dealing with that. The search for Kelsey Schelling led investigators back to Pueblo last week. After four years, mom Laura Saxton learned not to get her hopes up. This time seemed different. This was a pretty big step on their part. Police searched the backyard of a house where boyfriend Dante Lucas used to live, his grandmother's former home. They found evidence, but not Kelsey. As far as you know, items that were found. I don't I don't know what those were. I don't know that they'll tell us what those were. The new developments leading up to Easter weekend for a family leaning on their faith that seemed like a sign from above. They waited, watching investigators. They gave us a walkthrough so we were able to see just how incredibly hard everyone was working and how thorough they were being and, and so that was a comfort to be able to see that. The search location, no mystery to Saxton. Lucas is believed to be the father of Kelsey's baby. She drove down to Pueblo to meet him the night she went missing. Kelsey's mom praying whatever police found in the yard could ultimately lead them to her daughter. Hopefully those items will be something that will help move the investigation along as well. We know a tip led to these new developments, and for that, the family is thankful. Kelsey's mom told us police initially searched a corner of the yard shortly after she went missing. Liz Gilardi, Denver 7.